make a video. I just got the box for February, so I figured I'd do a video on it. I haven't looked at it yet. I just opened it. My guess is it's going to be like Valentine's Day themed. Not just because of this card. Because, you know, it's... February. Alright, so I'm going to grab... One of the first things I see. Uh, not that one. So this is a moisturizing and shine cream. It smells like flowers. It's from Amika. Um, it's called Supernova. I'm not sure what it's for. Let me look. Um, let me look at the card and it might tell me. I don't like looking at the prices. But... Okay, so it's for your um, hair. It says it's um, a shine cream is weightless weave-in cream that provides super hydration, detangling, and lightweight conditioning. Weave hair super... A naturally soft, smooth, and brilliant shine. So, it's for your hair. That would be nice. My hair's a little dry because I dye it all the time. I'm trying to bleach it to blonde. That's why, uh, yeah, it's golden right now. And it's not looking too hot. Well, let's go with this. So this is another um, item from Pure. I have a couple other items. Um, it is a four-in-one correcting primer. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly what this is for. It's a four-in-one primer. So it has like um a bunch of different stuff in here. It's like a primer and also like a hydrator. And um it's kind of like doing your like whole facial routine. That's what they're kind of trying to do in one cream. There's other coconut in this and I want to know if it smells like coconut. There it goes open. There's just a. Um, I don't think it smells like coconut. Maybe a little bit, but to me, it kind of just smells like you know lotion. Um, we have a brush set. I actually don't know this one. Moda Pro. 
Um, it's a Five Police Deluxe Eye Kit. They look like pretty nice brushes, and they have like this texture for like grip. They got a crease box, a shading brush, a detail brush, a smudge brush, and a line brush. Um, I'm gonna open it up so I can be able to quality of brushes. I love the texture. That's fun. There you can hear. I think it's like plastic. I wish this was a little bit thinner and more pointier angle, but you know. Um this is a detail blending brush, so this is like when you want to like just do the outer corner in my opinion. This is a smudge brush, I would use this under the eye. This is a little bit different blending brush than I use. And this liner brush. But I really like the texture on the brushes. It feels nice. It's kind of like a little hand massage. Um, so this is from Luxie. I've never had their, I know what they are, but I've never had them. One of their products before. So I've actually never had like a high quality, expensive sponge before. Because I know it's a piece of sponge to me. Does it really need to cost an arm and like oh okay so we're coming in this plastic bag waste plastic waste might just come in this little box more plastic waste um this is the contour sponge and then they got yeah this would be the detail blender um this i would use as a normal blender these are pretty firm This one's softer. I like this one better. So this one's pretty firm. And then they have like this one that I use to like blend out concealer under the eye. But it's a smaller one. And this is also pretty firm as well. I would say the nicest quality one is this one. And this one you could definitely put your foundation on if like this is your favorite. Obviously cut the jawline. Also really good for baking. Um, so I like this one the best so far. But I'm sure there are better things than I've actually used. Um, so yeah, I'll move that out of the way. So this is really heavy. It's from Kate Somerville. Um, it is... It's four... Oh! Oh, this is... I'm pretty sure this is like a glass bottle. 
Yeah, it's like, um, a serum. Oh, wow, that's a sick serum. Okay, <laughs> it's a serum of some sort. Hang on, let me figure out what this is. So this is like a skin tanner. I think I put this in there um, for my mom, kind of. I don't know how it's going to pick up in the dropper because it looks... Okay, it did. Um, it's like... Okay, I don't know if I can show you. But it's like really thick and like a jelly. It smells like it smells like apple cider. Like it has cinnamon in it. Like it smells like apples. I don't, I don't see anything where it says that, but to me, it smells like, like apple juice, like apple cider, or, it sounds like really liquidy, it's funny. But then you open it and it's not, it's like this thick gel. Yeah, it smells like apples. I love that. I love apples. Okay, so this is really nice. It's big too, like that's a big size. Uh, most, like, even full-size serums are, like, half the size of this. <laughs> so that's a nice size. It's supposed to smooth and firm your skin. I don't really need that, so that'll be good for my mom. Okay, yes, price this card. So, the Kate Somerville um, Tightening Serum is $98. It smells really good. Um, that's probably one of the most expensive products I've had in a set. This is the most expensive sponges I've ever had. It's a, um, $40 for this set. I would say, like, Honestly, these two are $20, and then this is like a free bonus gift. Um, and then, uh, the Mika shampoo. I added, um, I did the test over again, and I asked for some skincare products, because, um, I don't know much about skincare products, so I wanted to try out some different stuff. I really like it. It's a soft matte touch, and the bottle's cute. We're only like the 70s. For sure, this will be used as a primer. And then the brushes. Which are really cute. I love the feeling of these brushes. So 
so this is actually the most plastic I think I've got and you obviously can't do anything with this. Um, well you could keep this I guess to hold your brushes. You have to like toss the top of the scissors and smooth it out and you would still hold your brushes in there. So you can keep them separate from your other brushes. Um, this is just in the, in the trash. I'm not going to keep this, but you could use it for that. Put your trash. And then there's this plastic cover with your trash. Obviously, can be recycled, so that won't end up as a problem. So yeah, there isn't that much plastic in these because, again, it's a small box. All right, I'm gonna go over prices. So the primer is. $17. That's the cheapest product in here. Um, the brushes were $30 for all these brushes, which is a pretty good deal, I would say. So they're not like high, high quality brushes, but I would say like maybe Morphe prices, maybe a little lower than that. Um, and this smells really good. And it's Kate Spade. Oh, sorry, Kate Somerville. But yeah, I'm not gonna use this for say, but it's a lot of money, it's $98. The brushes are in about $30. Um, the Shine Cream is $25. The sponges are $40, which is, like, again, I would say probably 20 well, maybe, um, like, I don't know, like, 15 a piece. No. Like, $17 a piece for these sponges, and then this is probably, like, 5 bucks, because if it's more than 5 I don't know who's buying that. It's way too tiny. Like, it's good for this, but, like... I don't know. I just don't think I'm gonna need a tiny sponge for that much money. So the overall price Um, it's about 210. That was some just quick math in my head. I forget how much these boxes are worth. Oh, just so everybody knows. Um, shop beauty lifestyle deals up to 80% off starting Tuesday, February 11th. Um, the boxy, yeah, you can just go to this website right here. Um, the next one I believe they said is, yeah, February 11th. What's the date today? I don't even know. Um, I think today, yeah, okay, so it's not February 11th, it's February 8th, I'm pretty sure um so you only have a couple days to do this and then the next one isn't till may 
So I'm going to definitely check that out and see what they have on sale. They look like they have Luxie Brush sets on sale. Glam Glow Cosmetics and Benefit. So yeah, I'm definitely going to look into that. But that's the website you should go to to get 80% um, off. And it starts tomorrow. So yeah. Um, I was going to do a try-in video, but there's not really anything that you would, like, be able to tell is on my face. Like, obviously, this is just a primer. You wouldn't be able to tell. This is skincare. Again, hair stuff. Now, this stuff is really anything you can, um, review. Well, I'm saying, see... The difference right away so i'll give you an update maybe i don't know i'll talk about it in my next video probably it's just i'm i'm excited because i finally figured out what i want to do on youtube but it's moving forward and figuring out how to do it because i'm obviously not like beauty guru i can buy a lot stuff with a lot of money i'm a girl that lives <laughs> in a small town outside of Syracuse, New York, you know, it's not like I can go buy expensive makeup every day. I usually just get it for Christmas and holidays and my birthday. So, um, the next video, I'm not sure what it's going to be on. I might just do another makeup look, but I want to do something where, um, I'm trying to think of an idea, like I have a couple different ideas going on in my head. I might try to recreate a look that I find online. Pinterest has great options. That's where I get a lot of my makeup ideas from is Pinterest. Um, I'm also an artist. Well, <laughs> artist. Uh, I do drawing and stuff and um, Pinterest is great for that. I'm in ceramics, which is something I really love to do, and Pinterest is a great inspiration if you want to get into ceramics or just look at ceramics. It's awesome how much stuff they have in there. Sorry, I'm not sponsored by Pinterest <laughs> like I would ever be. But it's just a good source of, um, ideas for videos and stuff and other things. Um, my sister wanted me to do a video based off a of makeup trend on TikTok. I don't think I am, but she suggested that. I think I'm, I'm going to do, like, a makeup thing based on TikTok but it's not going to be that one um there's like this guy on like a thing where you put um your daily routine stuff in a bag and then you pull it out and whatever order it comes in that's the way you do it I might try that I don't know how that's going to look or how that's going to go the thing I'm most scared about is like putting the primer in there and then like being the last step um but yeah, that was the box for this month. My final thoughts. Um, it was okay. I'm kind of sad there was like no makeup products in here. Like obviously there's sponge, which is a makeup tool. There's brushes, that which is a makeup tool. Um, they had primer, but again, that's kind of like the face base. I would consider that kind of leaning more skincare ish and then um they had the hair cream which would be nice and then they had the serum so i do like boxy charm but i'm thinking about switching back to ipsy but don't quote me on that <laughs> i don't know i have to figure it out um 
There's a lot of stuff I like on here that I didn't get in Ipsy, but maybe I gotta go back to Ips Ipsy and see what's going on. Next month, Wolf is March. I'm not sure what they're gonna do for March. April, I'm guessing, is gonna be Easter themed. March is a surprise for me. I'm trying to think about holidays are in March. I have no idea, I can't think. But um But yeah, the next box in March I might I think I'm gonna do another it box to try in March. Or not. No, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to do an Ipsy box in, um, March. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Well, I don't know if it's too late. I'll figure it out. I'm either going to do an Ipsy box in March or Ipsy box in April. I want to do one in March because I feel like BoxyCharm has kind of to me more like good on like representing a vibe like this is clearly valentine's day feeling it's cute got flowers um and then a lot of the stuff is like this is flower scented this is like soft and um beauty and pretty and then they got like well, these are a little not very <laughs> Valentine's Day representative, but you know. Ipsy was like fun theme stuff, but it's like more like Ipsy collab things where it's like, oh, here you go. Let's do a Betty Boop Ipsy collab. Let's do a Tetris collab. They do that, but they, I don't think they do like, I think it'd be fun if brands did holiday boxes. Kind of like relating to the holiday um but yeah i still want to do a prom video on the um to do for prom and ball sorry i'm just talking so yeah my overall thoughts it's it's a fine box but again, it's to me, it's in between on skincare and regular stuff. But I wish there were more makeup in this box because, well, brushes you can't really play with. So it's not giving me any inspiration or giving me like, oh, I want to go do my makeup now. It's kind of just like, eh. Like, when you get a new, like, makeup product, you get, like, excited. Oh, yeah, I gotta try this out. I'm gonna do this. I gotta see how the eyeshadow works. Oh, yeah, this is great. I'm gonna use this during the next couple of weeks and then move on to the next product that you get. <laughs> but, like, this one is just, like, brushes. Yay, I get to use brushes. <laughs> and, uh, sponges. I'm actually excited to see the sponges work. Um, that's something I am grateful that is in this box. It takes up a lot of space, though, so I feel like that's why they went for, um, smaller products, because they had this guy in here. I rather like, I'm happy you saw another eyeshadow palette. A lot of, um, boxes have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, and I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I don't need like a million more on top of that. But yeah, so I like this BoxyCharm fine. I don't know which is better. It's hard for me to like say. I was kind of disappointed with the last this box before this. And um And the box right now is okay. Sorry, my mom is telling me goodbye because she's going to work. She was interrupting me. <laughs> but 
yeah, that's the end of the video, and, uh, I don't know. I think Ipsy might be slightly better. And that's funny because everybody says, oh, boxes are so much better. I, I don't know. I had better experience with Ipsy boxes than I did with boxy charm boxes. But they're not a bad box. Like, they have some awesome products in their boxes. Like, I love their highlighter. Um, I love the, um, fairy book. Eyeshadow palette I got, uh, yeah, some of their products are really good, and then other of them are flops. This one has good brushes and sponges, but no makeup. Makes me a little sad, but that's that. Alright, that's the end of the video. I ramble on way too much, and I'm sorry. I should really edit these videos. It just, I don't like to because I want it to be a clean cut of how it is. Especially when it comes to these, I like to get my reaction and how I feel about stuff. And I think this box is okay. It's not my favorite box. I am excited about this hair product, though. That will be nice for me and my sister. My sister likes to put, like, stuff in her hair that, um, hydrates it. Like, oils or, like, other stuff because she has, um, frizzy hair. And you can kind of tell that with me. Like, you can see the frizzes on top of my head. So, like, it'll be good for our frizzy hair because it's moisturizing. And it has, like, oils in it. So, yeah. Um, the box is 50-50 for me. I like the primer, but I'm not excited about the primer. This box is just kind of boring. It's everything, I will use everything in here. Well, except maybe the serum. But, um, I'll use everything in here for sure. It's just not the most exciting makeup box. Like, I like to get makeup. Alright, that's it in the video. I keep rambling on. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>